it to pour in for the late great former president wait, wait, Nelson Mandela here in Houghton. People still streaming in to place flowers and also light candles basically to show their love for this great man loved all around the world. But the Nelson Mandela Foundation will this afternoon and this evening host the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon as well as the Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. They will give tributes and basically give words of encouragement to the family. That's this afternoon and this evening. But to tell us more, I'm joined by Selo Hatang, who is the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Uh, Mr. Hatang, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Just tell us a bit more about what is expected at the Nelson Mandela Foundation this afternoon and this evening. Well, uh, uh, the Secretary General of the UN will come and uh, pay his respects. Um, and uh, he is expected to just uh, uh, read a statement to the media about um, uh, what the UN uh, feels at this time. You remember that uh, the UN declared Madiba's birthday as the, uh, the, the day of humanitarian uh, work, which is Mandela Day. And it's a, a, for them, it's a significant thing for them to, to then be here. Um, and then this evening, we're inviting members of the public to join us when uh, uh, Archbishop Tutu will be giving his uh, uh, special tribute to Madiba at the Nelson Mandela Foundation. That will start at 6 o'clock. Um, we will have uh, Soweto Gospel Choir and some artists uh, who would then be also giving their, their special tribute. Mr. Hatang, I want to talk about the legacy of such a great man. The world's media is here. The world's attention is on South Africa at the moment. In terms of the preservation of such a rich legacy, I want to talk to you personally about how difficult it is to preserve the legacy of such a great man going forward. I think the test of any legacy is uh, for it to outlive uh, the, 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 the founder of such a legacy or the doer and uh, we, we knowing what uh, Madiba has done um, I think we, we have no doubt that it will what we need to do is to not only protect it but also ensure that you then promote it and that promotion work is the one that we should be making it possible for every South African to see it and been made possible for them to be like Nelson Mandela. In other words, um, once you make Madiba a deity, once you make him a saint, uh, people uh, find it difficult to then uh, reach uh, those levels uh, of, of service. And I think uh, um, those three pillars of his values, which are freeing yourself, freeing others, and then serving every day, should be something that we promote and that we, we tell people about. And I think uh, uh, South Africans, through Mandela Day, we've seen it, uh, that a lot of South Africans have responded uh, uh, positively to come through and then say, how can we serve? And, and that service is the one that we should be emphasizing. So uh, as, the, as the institution, we hope and believe that uh, uh, through the efforts of others, we will be able to also promote that legacy. I want to talk about Heritage Day, for example. You know, in South Africa, there's always been a debate about Heritage Day and Pride Day. How do we then ensure a legacy that relating to such a great man, Nelson Mandela, doesn't in the next five, 10, 15 years turn into a day where we say, okay, young people go out into the streets, we bry, we dance. Yes, it's okay to bry and dance. Uh, we, as Africans, we dance when we celebrate. But not to just make it about that, but to say, hey, there's a history lesson here that we cannot forget. We can only achieve that if we ensure that we work with young people. Um, which is why for us as the Nelson Mandela Foundation we will be partnering with Anand Singh and Video Vision uh, where we will be showing the movie Long Walk to Freedom in all provinces, uh, taking it to schools, uh, having uh, lessons for teachers uh, or guides for teachers and in the process what we will then do is give each child a book um, because it's through efforts like those you have a dialogue with young people because uh, currently you feel that uh, you have a sense that young people have um, are alienated and that, that alienation is because of uh, th things like joblessness and, and until such time you then say okay how do we make sure that young people become active citizens and we believe that we will then have a movement of young people uh, who don't just go and, uh, and bry but they bry with the peppers uh, and that's what we all have to work towards. I want to talk about as well you know um, 
difficult. You did explain just a little bit how difficult it is, but in terms of tributes, are there any new tributes that have come in that you know about from around the world for the former president? Well, we're receiving tributes every day, and, and what's been uh, uh, really touching us is uh, um, how they've been coming from uh, the elitist to uh, those uh, who are deprived every day. And, and I think... Um, for as long as we, we see Madiba's uh, legacy touching on all fronts, those who are elite to those who, who, who continue to be uh, excluded in society, we might be able to reach uh, the levels of equality that we want to reach. And I think it's important that we, we, we do all we can through these tributes. Some of the tributes come from presidents, and, but those tributes uh, need to also be coming from young people. And we have a lot of young people who say, how can I contribute? Mm. And as a foundation, we've seen uh, how many people have volunteered their services uh, to say, how can I be part of the legacy? How can I, uh, without any pay whatsoever, um, people who have come uh, and have been feeding uh, uh, people who come to the foundation for, to, to view and uh, to view the exhibition that's there. Mm. And I think it's, it's through those uh, uh, tributes that we see that Madiba's legacy touched all. And, uh, and, and, but we now have to ask ourselves, are we doing all we can to help build a country and a world of our dreams? What would you then say to young people? Because we want to bring young people on board here. They're the future of this country. What would you then say to young people? Young people, this is what you need to do. I think the, 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 the best thing we could, we could do is to participate in democratic processes uh, that have been set. Um, you'll know that uh, Parliament tonight uh, will be honoring Madiba, for example. And I think it's important that young people uh, uh, observe this moment and they then can see how can they also contribute as individuals. Maybe some of them uh, uh, who are already in NGOs, how can they contribute? But the participation of young people is the one that can uh, uh, help us. And that participation is through ensuring that you become an active citizen. In your community. Uh, Mandela Day, for example, says uh, we have a mantra that says take action, inspire change in your community and make every day a Mandela Day. So it's, it's through small contributions. It could be that you, you, you like nursing, for example. Mm -hmm. Just go out and look for uh, old people who need to be nursed. That's right. And that's what we, we can contribute with. Small acts or small deeds that can uh, uh, have a ripple effect and make bring about change. And contribute to the greater being. Mr. Sela Hatang, thank you very much, sir, for your time. The CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Selah Hatang, telling us that they're really looking at ways to preserve this rich legacy of Nelson Mandela and get young people more involved. Not forgetting as well that uh, the Nelson Mandela Foundation will be hosting the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon as well as the Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. That's this afternoon and this evening, but that's what we have for you. We'll continue to uh, check for you who else is also coming in here, but just before we go, a little bit earlier on, the Public Works Minister Tulas Noisi also came inside the house to pay his tributes for about 10 minutes and he left back to the studio.